Hi guys, I'm Louise Rowe and you're watching Style Hall. I am a Brit living in LA and I host a TV show, makeover show called Plain Jane which is on MTV and I also uh, write for various magazines. So I'm the fashion editor at large for Glamour here in the US and I write a column for Company magazine in England. More about that but also my um, clothes, jewellery and shoe line which is coming out right now. I got into the fashion industry um, through magazines, creating an article from scratch and being able to convey, you know, how that, that picture looked in your head onto paper. So I went to Elle magazine in England and did an internship right after university. Work for free, as you do in all the glamorous jobs, TV being the same. And be very Carrie Bradshaw, you kind of would rather buy Vogue than, you know, eat. <laughs> But, um, and then I went, I went to InStyle magazine as an assistant after that, and I kind of worked my way up. I had the dream of designing a line years ago, but I didn't have the platform to do it, and I actually came up with the concept of um, doing 10 cocktail dresses for different body shapes, because I truly believe that women tend to dress for the wrong reasons. They look at you know, what celebrities wearing, what um, is on the, the runways and the trends, what's a bargain, not what shape will suit my body. So I just thought, you know, simple, but it was really the shape that inspired it. And then my sort of love for 1970s aesthetic and boho chic, that was kind of chucked on top and mixed in. And then ta-da. I always like to think about a collection, who is the woman that would wear it? And I think this season, it's quite a 70s woman. She's a bit boho, but she's still glamorous. She travels the world. She wears long boho skirts. Um, but lots of colour and she still looks a million dollars. My style icons are Bridget Bardot, Talitha Getty, Lauren Hutton, very 70s, so sexy but without wearing tons of makeup, without loads of cleavage. They do it in a very subdued way and to me that's more sexy than anything. Personally this is my favourite, I love the fact that we injected some turquoise into leopard print. Ladies that I make over are very scared of wearing high-waisted because they think, oh, that's just for models and it's not going to work. It really holds you in and you should try it. I, I would definitely suggest like just giving it a go in a, in a shop. My must-have item of clothing, it's a maxi skirt, a long flowing maxi skirt. I just think it's very elegant and feminine. I love this colour taupe. I think it's very chic. For example, if you look at my nail polish on, on it next to it, you can really put any bright colour with this, a pop of colour on your shoe or your ring. Here's another term you might not have heard, the obi belt. Obi is actually um, from Japan. The great thing about them is that you wrap them around and around your waist as many times as you can and do them up wherever it stops, side, front, back. They literally give you the smallest waist and the thicker the belt, the more it's going to cinch you in. So I love that. I think that's kind of my secret weapon in the collection. Doubles up as a nice whip. That didn't work. <laughs> we'll cut that bit up. Let's use that dress that you haven't worn for eight to ten years. You know, if stuff still fits, you can revamp it. Best way to revamp it is with accessories. Cheap, easy, you suddenly, you know, you put your OB belt on or your great new clutch and you've got, you've updated that little black dress into, you know, 2012. So with my shoe and jewellery collection, which is on Stylist Pick, which is English, but available in Europe as well, um, I wanted to do exactly that. Get pieces that, they stand out and they're bright, but they also go with a lot of stuff in your wardrobe. My must-have accessory is usually a cocktail ring. That's just been my thing for years. I don't wear that many necklaces unless it's a long pendant um, like this. It's funny, I just, I'd never wear a choker or anything like that. I'm really about the bright pop of colour on the finger and I tend to wear it on my index finger. It's just my thing, I just like it. I'm so excited, I've joined Glamour magazine as their um, fashion editor at large. A lot of people are like, what does that mean, at large? It means that I will be sort of dotting all over different areas of the magazine, helping out. So um, blogging, fashion week, I will be sort of giving my behind the scenes pictures and scoops. For anyone who wants to break into the fashion industry, got lots of advice. Um, start early, start doing work experience. I started when I was 16, and just if you can, on you know your weeks off from school, um, go in and shadow someone, write to every magazine or every designer that you can think of, and pester them in a very polite way. If you don't hear back, you know, keep keep knocking. 
start a blog, if you want to write. You know, back in the day, the dark ages when I started, I couldn't be published. It wasn't possible for me to have already had anything published. But now, start your blog, do your shoots, go and report on the on Fashion Week, even if you're just looking at photos off style.com. I think the more proactive and creative you are, the more interested those, those publications will be in hiring you. See you later.